Right, hello everyone, and welcome to another video log. This is the third one in our series. Uh, I am going for a bit of a night fish again, but this time to another spot. The other spot I went to, which is my favourite spot, didn't produce any decent sized fish, so I come to another spot just over here where I've managed to get a couple of nice fish the last few years, so we're going to try here tonight. But we're going to have some fried rice and I found over here some wild watercress. We have fried rice out of a packet, wild watercress with egg through it. So we're going to have that for our tea tonight while we're waiting before we have a cast out into the water to try and get some snapper. This spot here has produced a couple of good fish uh, the last few years so hopefully we might get some fish here tonight. Some decent snapper. So uh, enjoy this little vlog and the sun's going down behind that big cloud there so we're going to pick our watercress first which is just over here a little bit of watercress right down here by the sea it's pretty nice Find a couple more nice pieces there mm, it smells nice uh, a couple more bits over here we'll get let's make sure over there she's full of energy again Bit of watercress there. Yeah, so it would go quite nice with our fried rice. There's the camera doing the time lapse shot for tonight. Bit of cloud over there, but we'll see what happens. Gas stove on. It's going to be a nice quick meal to make this one. I'm using Uncle Ben's special fried rice, which is there. Also some um, sea salt, horopito and kawakawa seasoning. And there is our egg with it as well. Frying pan. To that we'll just add our rice. This will heat up in no time. Just a bit more water, I think, in there. Just turn around this way, you guys can see. And how's that for backdrop? Another fishing spot. Another tasty meal we're cooking. Not a kitchen cook one yet. That's going to be a nice one. Right, there's our watercress here. Just going to give it a bit of a, a quick wash in this water here. There. Sprinkle that watercress in there. I'm going to give it a nice flavour for sure. It's not like I boil up the other day. It's like a Chinese boil up. Chinese fried rice boil up. Oh, yep, that smells nice. Right, it's going to be such a quick, simple meal to make. Before you have a few hours fishing. And here we go with the time lapse. 128 shots. We're halfway nearly there. Yeah, so this is quite a good spot. I fished from the last few years and been quite lucky here. Got some nice decent snapper here it's just going to be there at the right place at the right time if they're there they're there and uh, hopefully there'll be one tonight so I can catch one for you guys to see if not well as you can see it's starting to wilt oh that smells nice 
Got rubber over here. She looks hungry, rubby hungry. Next we'll crack an egg in there. Mix the egg in. Food in a hurry when you're hungry. When you want to cave. We want to catch some fish. Right, nearly ready. Just going to add some of this horopeto and kawakawa on there. Good New Zealand native herbs. Horopeto. Oh, yeah, it smells nice. You can smell that horopeto now. Get a good dash of that. You know what, guys? That is pretty much ready. Just like that. Turn the stove off. And then time to plate up. Here we go, just like that. Already. Mm. There we have it, Chinese fried rice with watercress, egg and horopeto and kawakawa seasoning right down here at the beach. Right, let's have a taste of this, smells nice. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mm, it's delicious. Yum. You can taste the watercress in there. Mmm. That tasty kora petal and kawakawa gives it an extra zing to it. Mmm. Yum. Mmm, delicious. Well, gonna have one more mouthful. Look at that. Actually, I'm gonna have a cast. Put a bait on. Mmm. Tino Deca. Okay. Mmm. Put it down over here. Right, I'm gonna put a bait on now. Right about, I've fished here for a couple of years, so. I'll try there for starters. Not too far out. GoPro, stop recording. Oh, we got a fish on, guys. It's a fish on, I feel it. Yep, fish on. Yep. Fish on. Yep, feel that nice bite. Yep, it's a snapper. Either that or it's an eel. I think it's a snapper though. I think it's a nice one too. Let's have a look. 
hope it's a snapper let's have a look where is it here it comes what is it that is a snapper yep and that would be our first keeper look at that yes yes beauty look at that look at that that is our first taker snapper oh that was nice oh he's just he's just hooked two in the lip look at that It's a nice little, nice little panty that one. Oh, beauty. Look, he's just hooked on the lip. Oh, awesome. I'm so stoked. First nice snapper since I've come here. Oh, look at that, the hook just fell out. Oh, awesome. That's on the old Bonito. Now the camera's doing a time-lapse shot. I got this one here on. So there we have it. It's a nice little healthy snapper tamuri. Man, I'm stoked, really stoked with that. Far you guys, you guys know how hard I've tried the last couple of nights. That's a nice eater, that one. Oh, awesome. Bloody fantastic, man. I'm stoked. Stoked as. Well, I'm gonna put him out of his misery and um, we'll have another cast. Bloody awesome. What an awesome feeling that was. Right, another cast. The old tennis ball rig. Hope it's a snapper, it could be a ray. It feels like a ray. Oh, come on. Come on. What is it? I'm not getting much line back. I can feel the rocks on the on the line. Come on. Get my tennis ball back. He's gone to the right now. Uh, it's gonna bust me off in those rocks. I can feel it. Going from the left to the right now. Come on. Oh, shit. I think he's coming in. Oh, maybe not. Got way to the right. A lot of rocks over there. We must be on close to the shore now. Gonna have a look. Here he is. Look, it's a nice little. It's a nice ray. Here he is. All oh, right, that was a battle. Oh well, we'll get the hook out. Yeah, that was hard work doing that. Putting those things in. He went from the left to the right. There's a lot of rocks around there, so it was really hard. Especially at night time. And uh, managed to get him in all right. Took the hooks out and... But normally when you uh, catch those, catch that one, he won't come back again tonight. So that's always, that's always a bonus. But yeah, it's pretty dark tonight, which is good. 
the fish won't be so spooked with all the light. Anyway, I'm going to keep an eye on my rod. I've got no rod light on there. I'm just going to keep it dark. The green light, I think, lets off too much light, especially when you're fishing this close to shore. So I'm going to have to turn this, not use this cannon anymore. And I'll stick to the GoPro on my harness. Just starting to rain a little bit. Hopefully it won't um, get any worse than it is now. Bugger. Got a fish on. Yep, snapper. Yep. I can feel him biting. Right, put the light on, guys. So you can see. Oh, yeah. That's a snapper. I can feel him. Beauty. About the same size as the last one, I reckon. Just as the rain's coming down. And we've got another snap, I'm sure of it. Here it comes. Here it comes. Where is it? Here it comes. Yep. Oh, I love that feeling. Snapper, I'm sure it is. What have we got here? Oh, it's probably Neil. They fight the same. Oh, what is it? Trevally. Oh, you get off. No. Come on. Shit. Where is he? Oh, look at that. That is a beauty. Look at that. That is a nice. It's bigger than the last one. Hoo hoo. Far out. Look at that nice one, guys. I can feel I'm biting. Beautiful. Oh, yeah. That's number two. Two nice snapper for the night. There we are. Another snapper. Oh. It's my night tonight. Here we are. This is the place to be. The wind's come out of here, this spot here for ages. But always going now back to my old spot. But look at that. There's the other one there. It's the first one. And it's a nice, that's a good size. That's a good eater. Those ones are beautiful. Man, I'm stoked. Far out. Wrong thing with the cast, and they're starting to split. That was taken on a nice big piece of Benito, that sort of size. See, two five bar row hooks. Caught that. See, double hooked. Oh no, single hooked in there. But there you go. Beautiful. That's what we came here for. Get Get fish like that. Right, I'm under a tree here. I'm trying to stay a little bit dry. Set another cast after that last snapper. I think rubber's had enough. Rubber, you having fun? Hey, you having fun? There's a possum up here, right in the tree. Yeah. Morning rubber. Good morning. Can't do much in this sort of weather. Just gonna hunker down and stay dry and yeah. I've got a funny feeling tomorrow, the Motu is going to head there, the might be a bit, um, the water might be a bit too paru. Maybe the rain coming down from the hills, so uh, not quite sure yet what we're going to do. Hopefully it'll find out later on. So I'm just editing the video from the last night, and we're going to have a bit hungry now in this wet weather. 
Wet weather's making me a bit hungry, so we're going to have a steak sandwich. Down a bit. Whoa. I'll chomp a bit later on. Just let it rest for a couple of minutes. Yeah. Here we go. Looks beautiful. Put the old superfood salad on there. Nice and healthy. I'm gonna put a bit of peri peri sauce on top of there. Might not go with the smoky barbecue seasoning, but should go all right. And there we have it. The bread's a bit stale. There we have it. Right, let's have a taste test, shall we? I'm not going to start. Take this crust off, the bit, the bit stale, but don't touch crust. Mmm. Mm, the bread's way stale. Give it to the ducks. Ready? Mmm. The best food I've had since yesterday's fried rice. Mm. Mm. Want a bite? One way to eat stale crust, dip in that olive oil and a bit of meat juice. <coughs> yeah, the bread's not stale anymore. Mm. Oh yeah boy. Unfortunately I can't do that video today off the fish. I'm just gonna go down to the beach and use the frying pan and the and the gas stove and the weber, cook up some uh, fish heads and stuff, so I'll do that one tomorrow. So I'm just having some ramen noodles out of a packet for tea. So I will sign off on this vlog and we'll do the cooking one tomorrow, hopefully when the weather gets better. Hear that? It's been going all day. Everything soggy is. So um, yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Fingers crossed.